Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Today we are going to look at how we can take simple single page web apps and install them on your smartphones, on your tablets, iOS, and Android. So let's take a step back. Why would we do this? Well, for months now, we have been playing around with Claude and Claude artifacts. This is the ability to uh, have Claude build simple web apps on the side and see the code, preview it. It has been amazing because you can uh, ask Claude to start building uh, a converter app, something that will uh, organize your texts, organize, you know, all sorts of things. We've even built a video game all within HTML and JavaScript, and you could see it working on the side and asking Claude to iterate over time over multiple versions. Uh, it is just a great tool if um, you don't know a lot of coding and you want to build simple apps, say in the workplace, that, that does things over and over. So these are really helpful because you can then download it, uh, share it with your friends, and anyone with a browser is able to double click and presumably use it. Uh, that said, we are in the modern kind of smartphone era, um, and many people don't like using their browsers or get lost because they have too many tabs. Uh, most of us are actually uh, hoping to have an application on our home screen that we can click into. And that's where progressive web apps come in. If you take a look at the CDC page, it explains uh, how this works. Um, basically, progressive web apps are web pages. They are, that's all they are, but they give the user uh, an option to download and save a copy on their device with their own icons, with their own names. And so, for example, here on iOS, you would click here and add to home screen. It would download a copy of this application, this hearing loss simulator, give it an icon, save it on your main screen. Uh, the same, you know, a very similar process is available on Android where you add it to your home screen. Now, if your application is all offline, so think Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius, it's all this calculation within the web page, these will work just fine um, offline. But uh, if you do need some sort of online connection, say a chat GPT wrapper where you are, you know, working online, sending things online, um, uh, you'll have an offline page, but you'll still need an internet connection. But the main thing is, once you save it as an icon, you lose that URL bar. It looks a lot like an application. Um, and that's one way for you to take uh, these simple apps that Claude is building and add it to your smartphones and make it uh, more dynamic, make it more interesting. So as a quick experiment, uh, I had one of these old projects we've worked on in the past, this docx modifier, where you can drag and drop docx files, and I asked Claude to turn it into a progressive web app. Uh, you'll see that I was confused a little bit, um, but it's actually really, really simple. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today. Because what you're going to do is uh, create a web app manifest, this is a quick JSON file that tells Android or iOS what the app name is, who the author is, a quick description, something so that it can place information within the home screen. Uh, we have a service worker. This is just a very quick, um, this is a very quick, short JavaScript piece that will uh, help the installation process. And you make some minor modifications to your HTML, including a reference to the manifest.json file, uh, just some meta tags and, and, well, Claude decided to make some theme changes. Um, 
The final piece is you do need to provide a few different icons. So a 192 by 192 icon and a 512 by 512 icon. And of course, this is the what shows up on your home screen. Um, I asked it to change it and rewrite a few of the things. But uh, once that happened, it took this and turned it into this, which number one, Claude made some stylistic changes to make it more accessible on a phone. But once you do that, uh, this page is ready to be accessed on uh, iOS, on Android, and you can just click add to home screen now. And all it took was a few additional files. And so, um, Yes, it makes your single page web app a little bit more messy, but you have your index page, you have your service worker.js, you have a manifest, and you have three different icons. Uh, you also have the option to have an offline page. Just a bit of a warning if you you know you need an online connection, you can shift it to this page that says, you know, it's not quite working. Uh, I don't know why Claude suggested for my app, it does work all offline, but um, but it was actually really, really painless to get this up and running. What surprised me as I was prepping this video is that not only does this make this easier for some folks to share and, and uh, make it more accessible, but you can actually add a progressive web app onto Google Play. Uh, you're going to need to use uh, bubble wrap to uh, package it properly. Um, but you can actually start making really, really simple apps with Claude. Um, so single page web apps, then you can turn it into a progressive web app. And finally, if you follow these basic instructions, you can then use bubble wrap to package it up and put it on a Google Play. Uh, this is actually much preferable than if you were building an Android app from scratch. If you ask Claude to build an Android app, uh, it will use your typical Android Studio or Eclipse kind of setup. And for those of you unfamiliar with Android, there are just there is just a lot of overhead, uh, a lot of headache to try and. Uh, build one of these apps. And it's very worthwhile if your app is very complex, but as I was saying, if you wanted to build something simple like a converter or some quick math, um, you're much better off using this pipeline. So I'm going to call it a day today. This is a fairly short video, but I hope this was really useful because uh, it's really important. Uh, AI and these chatbots are really, 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 really good at making simple HTML web pages. And furthermore, all the tools are within the browser, so they work really well for lay people. And if they want to take it to the next step, this is uh, two next steps to allow you to uh, make it more accessible and ultimately sell your application uh, without trying to learn Android Studio and learn a new language and all of that. All right, so thanks for watching and next week we will cover a new topic. Bye.